What were your thoughts when 50 Cent blamed the second season ratings dip on gay stuff? First of all, you know, uh, the pot calling the kettle back. black is all I'm saying. So, I mean, are, but I mean, you're not insinuating that, that, that he's 50 gay? Cent is... <laughs> hey, it seems like the drama between 50 Cent and his ex, Viva Fox, is heating up again after all these years. Despite their breakup two decades ago, their animosity hasn't faded one bit. It's likely fueled by the messy way 50 Cent ended things, announcing their split on a radio show just eight months into their relationship. Talk about adding insult to injury. They started dating in 2003, surprising everyone who knew them because they were such opposites. Remember when 50 Cent thanked Viva for her dress at the BET Awards? Some say that was the moment she fell for him. And honestly, it's easy to see why. She was beaming. Their romance became public at the 2003 MTV Video Music Awards, where they strutted down the red carpet hand in hand. Their relationship sparked intense speculation, adding fuel to the fire of their already blazing careers. Ah, the early 2000s were wild times, especially for 50 Cent, who was dominating the rap scene with his latest releases. During their brief but intense romance, 50 Cent's album, Get Rich or Die Trying, was flying off the shelves, selling a staggering 12 million copies worldwide. Meanwhile, Vivica Fox was making waves in Hollywood with her roles in blockbuster movies like Independence Day, Set It Off, Soul Food, Two Can Play That Game, and Kill Bill. Despite their short-lived relationship of just eight months, they were considered one of the industry's power couples. Their high-profile status meant they were constantly in the spotlight, but Vivica didn't seem to mind. She was completely smitten with 50 Cent, especially since he treated her like royalty during their time together. Rumor has it that what was meant to be a stunning 12-carat engagement ring for Vivica Fox from 50 Cent ended up being transformed into a pair of earrings after a heated argument caused him to rethink the proposal. It's said that this incident marked the beginning of the end for their relationship, which unraveled as quickly as it began. Several factors contributed to their downfall, including the constant scrutiny from the public eye after going public too soon. Being in the spotlight meant everyone had their noses in their business, which undoubtedly added strain. Additionally, their significant age difference, she was 38 and he was 27, became apparent with Vivica feeling it highlighted his immaturity. If you consider 50 Cent's occasional bouts of immaturity now at 48, one can only imagine how it manifested when he was 27. Moreover, 50 Cent's habit of discussing their personal life with anyone who would listen understandably irked Vivica, as who wants their intimate moments broadcast to the world. Certainly not her. He publicly humiliated Vivica by suggesting that their breakup wasn't official. He simply stopped communicating with her, essentially ghosting her. Adding insult to injury, he accused her of using him for publicity, which is ironic considering he made the initial move in their relationship. When asked whether she ended things or he did, he dodged the question, claiming he stopped calling because he felt her team was exploiting their relationship for publicity. However, he failed to provide concrete examples of how her team was supposedly taking advantage. Ultimately, it seems they struggled to cope with the intense public scrutiny and attention their relationship attracted, however, Vivica wasn't about to let 50 Cent score cheap points by insinuating that she used him for publicity. She couldn't stay silent about his accusations and felt compelled to set the record straight. Despite the relationship not working out, the media attention lingered far longer than their romance did. Vivica questioned why the press tends to vilify women in such situations, but she pointed out that it wasn't the press at fault, it was him. He accused her of exploiting him for publicity, which she vehemently denied.
She was on the brink of starring in a film alongside respected actors and had been in the acting game for years. So the accusation felt baseless to her. She referred to their relationship as ghetto love, indicating his approach to dealing with it. Even though 50 Cent was the one to end things with Vivica, he continued to be petty afterward. He even dissed her in some of his songs, like Get In My Car, where he depicted her as someone who spent her life savings on him and was overly committed. This portrayal made Vivica look bad in front of the world, leaving her hurt and humiliated. She described the experience as heartbreaking and damaging to her trust. Turn. Be honest. Okay, I ain't calling no more. Oh, she really? Has to stop calling. Really? Well, what happened? She told you to stop calling? Nah, I just, I stopped calling. I, I felt like um, her people were taking advantage of the situation as far as her publicist. Uh, they were using you for public. When it comes to 50 Cent, trouble seems to follow him like a shadow, earning him the title of King Petty. He's notorious for his online antics, trolling and mocking people on social media as if it's his full-time job. Despite a supposed period of good terms with Vivica Fox after his apology, it didn't take long for 50 Cent to stir the pot again. It all started with a comment he made about the show Empire, in which Vivica was starring at the time. As the show's ratings declined, 50 Cent attributed it to what he described as an excess of gay stuff happening on the show, claiming it turned viewers off. This comment sparked considerable backlash, but 50 Cent defended himself, dismissing the criticism as a result of a slow news week. Vivica wasn't about to let this slide, though. She fired back, hinting at 50 Cent's own secrets and suggesting he had something going on with Soulja Boy behind the scenes. When asked about 50 Cent's remarks blaming the show's ratings dip on gay content, Vivica didn't hold back calling out the hypocrisy of his comments. She revealed that her strong reaction was fueled by her loyalty to her friends and co-stars on Empire, who were being disrespected by 50 Cent's remarks. In an interview, she expressed her unwavering support for her friends and her refusal to tolerate any negativity directed towards them. The feud escalated as both sides exchanged barbs online, with Sulja Boy joining in on the action. However, Vivica stood her ground, maintaining her stance and refusing to back down, despite the backlash she faced. In the midst of the drama, 50 Cent reposted Sulja Boy's comments and insinuated that Vivica's accusations stemmed from her romantic interest in him. In the midst of their ongoing feud, 50 Cent made a provocative statement insinuating that Vivica Fox believed he was gay because she supposedly forced him into a compromising situation. This sparked a fiery response from Vivica, who retaliated by sharing a photo of 50 Cent wearing makeup, challenging him to confront the truth on a public platform like Watch What Happens Live. The messy drama didn't end there, as Soulja Boy became entangled in the mix, with Vivica surprisingly coming to his defense, despite his previous insults towards her. Vivica clarified that her comments weren't directed at Soulja Boy, apologizing for any confusion. However, rumors surrounding 50 Cent and Soulja Boy's relationship had circulated for years, dating back to a controversial magazine cover they appeared on together in 2010 which sparked speculation about their dynamic. Despite attempts to reconcile their differences, the beef between 50 Cent and Vivica persisted for almost two years before they attempted to bury the hatchet, even collaborating professionally again for a brief period. However, their truce didn't last, and tensions flared once more. Things took a personal turn when Vivica included details about their intimate moments in her book. Every day I'm hustling, which didn't sit well with 50 Cent. Despite openly discussing their relationship in the past, he was visibly irked by Vivica's continued references to their past romance. The revelation that Vivica often initiated intimacy during their relationship stirred up further speculation, 
especially considering 50 Cent's reputation as a young rapper in his 20s. Looking back, let's attempt to piece this puzzle together. 50 Cent has been throwing shade and trolling Diddy since at least the late 90s, and it's common knowledge that there's no love lost between them. So why would Diddy allegedly make advances towards 50 Cent if he believed 50 was straight? Some speculate that Diddy might have heard rumors about 50 Cent's sexuality, which could have prompted his actions. Now sources are suggesting that there might have been more to the relationship between 50 Cent and Soulja Boy than meets the eye. Just when you thought things couldn't get messier, along comes Jaguar Wright, dropping bombshell claims and truths about 50 Cent and Soulja Boy. Let's face it, anything Jaguar says is bound to shock, but she practically has a PhD in Hollywood gossip. While 50 Cent might strut around like he's untouchable, it seems that no one is immune to the drama and speculation that swirls around him. Jaguar Wright caught everyone off guard with her relentless revelations. She's spilling more tea than a clumsy waiter, and her targets aren't just limited to Diddy or Jay-Z anymore. She's expanding her scope, and let me tell you, the dirt she has on Soulja Boy and 50 Cent is incredibly juicy. Soulja Boy, y'all gotta, y'all gotta give him a little bit of latitude. Cause the exposes yeah. are popping off. Again. You know, he been in the, the rap game since he was little, just like Wheezy. Yeah. Speaking of Soulja Boy, we need to cut him a little slack. With these exposes hitting him left and right, it's clear he's been in the rap game since he was a kid, just like Wheezy. But when Jaguar dropped that bomb about his past, it had everyone reeling. Who else could possibly know such intimate details? Remember when he was in New York and his, uh, guardian threw him out into the hallway? He was left holding his, well, you know. It's wild to think that this couple once graced the cover of a magazine together, considering the bombshell she just dropped about Soulja Boy. It's ironic how someone like 50 Cent, who constantly calls out others for being swish, seems to have a deep understanding of homosexual dealings in the industry. It makes you wonder if there's more to his accusations than meets the eye. But here's the real shocker. 50 Cent isn't the only one Soulja Boy has been linked to. Remember when Tasha Kay interviewed an internet personality named William the Baddest? Well, it seems he spilled some tea about getting cozy with Soulja Boy too. Drawing a line and using someone's clout for clicks and views is definitely not cool. Soulja Boy found himself in the middle of controversy when William pointed to a photo from 2016 as supposed proof of their affair. Despite William's claims, Soulja Boy vehemently denied the allegations, even going live on TikTok to address the situation. He insisted that the accusations were baseless and urged his fans not to believe the rumors. However, the drama didn't end there. Soulja Boy threatened legal action against those involved, including William and anyone who reposted the allegations. The situation escalated into a hot mess, with lawsuits looming over everyone. Meanwhile, 50 Cent found himself embroiled in his own controversies. First, his ex and baby mama, Daphne Joy, accused him of violence and abuse. Now Viva is alleging that he's on the DL. It's a tumultuous time for 50 Cent, with speculation swirling and his reputation at stake. People have been quick to comment on the irony of 50 Cent's situation, noting how he's often the one making jokes about others being on the DL. Some even speculate that his constant trolling and obsession with outing others may be a reflection of his own struggles with his identity. In the end, the question remains, should 50 Cent come clean and reveal his truth? Or is this all just another chapter in the never-ending saga of celebrity drama? What do you think? Some smear with no proof drop your thoughts in comments below, and then check out this next video 